My name is Jesse and I am a seven figure day trader with eight years of experience. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you a strategy that is backed by hundreds of trades worth of data that can pass prop from challenges and make you into a consistently profitable trader. And the mind blowing part about this strategy is how profitable it is, considering that it requires zero daily bias. You only trade one time frame. You only trade one asset at one time of day. This strategy is so simple and it removes all of the stress and guesswork from your trading. Look, if you master this strategy, it can be the turning point in your trading career. ICT himself said that you can quit your job in 90 days trading the silver bullet framework, which is a pretty bold claim, but numbers don't lie. And after 300 trades, this strategy is proven to not only work, but be massively profitable. Now let's be crystal clear. You need to follow every single step to this strategy that I teach you in today's video if you want it to work, or you probably will be looking for a new job and not be a day trader anymore. But all jokes aside, please make sure to follow every rule of the strategy. I'm gonna go in depth and go step by step, giving you multiple chart examples. That way you understand this strategy so you can execute it on your own. But enough with the chit chat, let's hop onto a chart. The purpose of this video is to provide a mechanical framework that is proven by data. And as you can see here, tested over 300 trades, this strategy is extremely profitable. This was on NASDAQ over the last year. Listen, I believe that anybody can become profitable with this strategy, regardless of their skill level or experience. So the main benefit of this strategy is that it eliminates stress and overthinking. Whenever you're trading and you're learning ICT or any other trading strategy, it can become really stressful because you learn these strategies and then they're so subjective and you don't really have a rule-based system to walk you through each trade and you start to wonder if you're doing things right or if this is really a trade setup or if it's not and you either hesitate or over trade but this trading strategy will provide you a clear and simple set of rules that support a consistent trading plan all you need is one time frame at a specific time of day with no daily bias so before we get started you need to fully understand what a fair value gap is and how it is a three candle formation so a fair value gap is a series of three candles with the middle candle being an expansive candle that leaves a gap between the wick of candle three and the wick of candle one. So as we go through this video, remember that this candle, the first candle in this three candle sequence is candle one. So let's talk about the process and the entry model. So first thing is first, you're going to wait until 9.30 a.m. EST, all times that we say in this entire video are Eastern Standard Time or New York Time. You're going to wait till 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to do your prep, and then you're going to wait to mark out your Asia, London, 6 to 7.30 high or low. We're going to get into how to do this and show you some chart examples along with multiple chart examples of this strategy. So if this doesn't make sense yet, that's fine. All these numbers right here are just times all in New York Standard Time. And to break this down even further, if you're wondering what the Asia high or the London high or low or the 6 to 7.30 high or low is, all it is is just a high or low in that time window. So for example, let's just say this right here was a price window and the market had formed a little bit of a range. And on the left line, this is the midnight right here. And then this is 6 a.m. Okay, so that would be London session. The high and the low of this price range would then be your London high or low. So it is just the high or the low in between these set times. After that, you need to ask yourself, are the Asia, London, or 6 to 7.30 high or low taken since midnight? So remember, you're starting at 9.30 a.m. So if it's Monday at 9.30 a.m., you need to look at the chart and see since midnight, have the highs or the lows of any of these ranges been taken? It can be one of the ranges. It doesn't have to be all of them. Um, sometimes it will be more than one. Doesn't really matter. It's just that either one of them has the high or the low taken. That is the first step to being able to have a setup using this trading strategy. Now, and if you're thinking, oh, that doesn't happen often. Well, it happened over 325 times in a single year. And if this still is a little fuzzy, don't worry, we're gonna hop on a chart and I'm gonna show you multiple examples of this on an actual candlestick chart. Now, if these haven't been taken, if the answer is no, then you have no setup on this day and then you wait until the next day and restart the process. Now, if the answer is yes, then you're gonna wait for the first five minute fair value gap to form between 10 and 11 a.m. Eastern or two and 3 p.m. Eastern. Now, if the fair value gap is bearish, right? If it's bearish, you need to make sure the high of one of these time ranges was taken out because we want a sweep of highs if we're gonna be trading a bearish fair value gap and vice versa, if long, you'd want the lows taken out. Now, if that hasn't happened, then you go back to the drawing board and it's no setups on this day. 
Now, if everything checks off, you're just going to enter on that fair value gap with a stop. Then you're going to place your stop at fair value gap candle number one and just target a fixed two to one risk to reward or you close at the end of the day. So let's go ahead and look at some chart examples. So notice that these are all very recent, right? March 12th, March 12th. Um, there's going to be multiple trades in one day. A lot of the time with this, this is March 26th. Today is April 14th when I'm filming this, I'll be releasing this video tomorrow. And then here is March 22nd. So all these examples are very recent. Uh, again, this strategy happens all the time and it gives more than enough setups than you would ever need. So let's take a look at this example. You waited until 9 30 AM, which was right on this area right here. And you noticed that the market had taken out the London low. It also had taken out the six to seven 30 low, but again, it just needs to be one of them. So it's taken out this time-based liquidity. The lows and the highs of these ranges are very significant because there is a lot of orders at the end of each one from previous trading sessions. So once that liquidity has been taken out, notice the first fair value gap that's formed after 10 a.m., right? So here's the line in the sand. Here's 10 a.m. We don't get a fair value gap here. We don't get one here. We do get a fair value gap there. The market then retraces into that fair value gap and you would just enter. It would actually be on this candle. I should have drugged this over, but you would enter on this fair value gap. Now, Zooming in this example, which one is fair value gap candle one? That's this candle. That's why the stop loss is placed where it is. You would then target a fixed two to one risk to reward. And then right here, you're probably like, why was there a trade entry there? Well, after 2 p.m., right, we see 2 p.m., and this is a zoomed in view. After 2 p.m., the market did form another fair value gap. Very small, but it still meets the strategy. Here is a zoomed in view right there. Very small, but it still met the strategy. And you put a stop loss under fair value gap candle one, target a fixed two to one risk to reward. For the next example, we can mark out midnight to 6 a.m. So that's the London session. So the high and low here is the London high and the London low. So then we have this London high that was taken out, right, since midnight. So that activates that we are able to short if a bearish fair value gap presents itself after 10 a.m. So 10 a.m. is right here, this line right here. So after 10 a.m., we don't get a fair value gap. We don't. And then boom, we do right there. That's our first fair value gap. So you would look to sell right there. So as soon as that fair value gap is formed, you can sell as soon as the market taps into it. You put your stop loss above candle one and you target a fixed two to one risk to reward. Now notice right here, again, the market gives another setup. So after 2 p.m., the market creates the first fair value gap. There's no fair value gap here and any of these candles. The first one after 2 p.m., right? Boom. You could have entered the market right there and taken a quick trade. Now, if you want access to this entire board, that way you have the strategy, you can have it all for free. The link is down in the description. Also, I wanna thank you for watching and I challenge you to go and back test this strategy. As you've seen, it is proven by data, right? When you're testing a strategy, you need to make sure that you have a lot of trades. We have over 300 trades that this works, okay? If you do this correctly, then it will work. But I always wanna remind you too that trading is hard. And yes, this could maybe get you a funded challenge. Yes, it can get you some success, but I wanna be very crystal clear that a funded certificate on its own, it doesn't really mean much. That's why I take a lot of pride whenever I can show you that a lot of my students are actually getting payouts from these prop firms. We got Pasquale who got two $2,000 payments right here. So that's $4,000. Bosch, who made over $4,000 on his payouts. And then we have Hunter, who was able to get his first payout after following my strategies. And Haas as well was able to get a $2,100 payout after following this methodology. Now, it's not just strategies. This is where I'm going to sit down and trade with you live. I also have a trading psychologist who comes in and coaches you on your psychology weekly and gives you worksheets to make sure that you're on your mental A game. On top of that, I'm going to review every single trade you take with a trading journal that I give you all for free. That way I can see what you're doing wrong, see what is working, what's not, and point you in the right direction. Yes, I'm going to give you trading strategies, and I'm going to be holding you accountable to make sure you're sticking to your plan by reviewing your trade journals and really just making sure that you're on track to be the best that you can be as a trader. So if you're really serious about trading and you want to take your trading to the next level, then go ahead and click the link in the description to become a funded trader in 12 weeks. Again, if you want to download this entire board all for free, the link is down in the description. And you can use this software for free. It's called Miro to make your own boards because you should have processes to your trading. And that's why I like to work with people and help them build their processes. But if you want this one for free, the link is down in the description. Also, I want to say thanks for watching this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I post two free education videos all about day trading every single week, all for free. And also I want to be crystal clear that you know, mentorship, it's not for everybody. At the end of the day, you really don't need it. You can learn online all for free. It just might take you a couple years. Mentorship is just a kind of a shortcut. That way you can get on the right track and work with somebody and learn from their mistakes instead of your own. But again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.